HTML, or hypertext markup language, is the foundation of all websites you see nowadays. It was first introduced by Tim Berners-Lee in late 1991 while he was working at CERN. Initially, it was only a proposal and part of his larger project to create the World Wide Web. But now, HTML is an essential and necessary part of every web page you see. So how does HTML work? Well, HTML has three parts, the document type declaration, the head, and the body. The document type declaration ensures that the web page is interpreted correctly by the browser. The head handles all the links like fonts and styles and other meta information that the website needs, such as the website title and description. Lastly, the body contains all the elements you see on a website. For example, HTML provides six levels of headings, from heading one to heading six. These elements help structure the content hierarchically. You usually see this in hero pages and throughout every website. Headings are usually followed by paragraphs, which provide more information and content to websites. The the open and close angle brackets you see are called HTML tags. HTML tags are the fundamental building blocks of HTML used to define and structure the content of web pages. Tags usually come in pairs with an opening tag and a closing tag defined by a slash inside the tag. For example, if we want to create a website for cat lovers and write a blog with content about the top five cat facts, we first need to define our website title in the head. Then we add an heading one tag with the content of top five cat facts, followed by the facts title using heading two for subheadings and a paragraph tag for the content. But it feels bland and lacking. What if we add an image before the facts? Well, we just add an image tag in our HTML file. Images are an essential part of web content, adding visual appeal and enhancing user experience. In HTML, images are embedded using the image tag. This tag is self-closing, meaning it does not have a separate closing tag. HTML tags also have attributes. For example, the image tag has the attributes of SRC, which is short for source, and an alt attribute, which is used when the SRC doesn't work. SRC can take image address links online and offline. For instance, if we find a cute cat image on Google and want to include it on our website, we just copy its image address, paste it into the SRC attribute, and then add alt text like cat picture and ta-da. We just added an image in our website. But what about this learn more link that we put in our paragraph content? Well, we just need to wrap the text with an anchor tag. After wrapping the text in an anchor tag, it will have a blue color and be clickable. However, if you click this anchor tag, it will lead nowhere because we haven't defined the href attribute. Inside the href is where you place the link you want users to go to. And for our example, it would be more related cat facts. Up next is the div tag. A div in HTML is a division or a container element used to group together other HTML elements. Think of it as a box that can hold various other elements like text, images, links, or even other div elements. We can see this in many popular websites like Facebook, Airbnb, or even Google itself. And I know we've covered a lot about the HTML basics. That's why we created a PDF version of this video. It is free, but we appreciate any support you give to the channel. These are just the basics of HTML. We will create more videos about topics like forms, tables, lists, and more. So stay tuned for that. If you want to learn more about web development, our channel is for you. Subscribe to be updated on our next video, which will cover CSS basics. Thank you for watching.